So you are thinking about quiet quitting your job, but you're not 100% sure yet if it's the right thing for you to do. So you want to hear from someone else who's been there, done that, or you simply want a bit more information to help you make up your mind so you can decide whether or not it's the right thing for you to do. Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'll be talking about my own experience with quiet quitting and I'll share the links to two other videos that I've already done on quiet quitting. All of this to help you make an informed decision and decide what is right for you. My name is Ira Smith. I quietly quit my job back in 2013 and this is my story. So if you don't know me yet, I'm an ex-corporate professional turned career transition coach. And I quietly quit my job at the start of 2013 and then I actually quit my job towards the end of 2013. Now, at the time, I'd only been working in the corporate world for roughly five years. And those first few years were great. I loved the jobs that I was doing. I loved the people that I was surrounded by. They were funny. They were great to hang out with. They taught me loads. I had some really great bosses. So as a result, I felt those first few years, it was such a steep learning curve. I learned so much and I really loved what I was doing. But then things changed. So after about two to three years, I settled into a career path that simply wasn't right for me. And it's easy to say now that I've never should have taken that career path in the first place, but I did. And the reason I did, as a side note, is because of opportunity. You know, I had some great opportunities coming my way and so I latched onto them. I took those opportunities and ran with it. And as a result, I made some big jumps in my career. I had great career prospects, but at the same time, I was moving further and further away from something that was truly making me happy. From I was mo moving further away from achieving career satisfaction, from doing something that I felt proud of, from doing something that I felt connected to, something that I cared about. And so as I progressed in my career, I actually got more and more unsatisfied with, that, with what I was doing. And I got more and more unhappy with where my career was going. Which is why in 2013, I, at the start of 20, 2013, I quietly quit my job. And it nearly killed me. And no, this is not an exaggeration. Quiet quitting nearly killed me. Let me explain. So back in 2013, when I quietly quit my job, my, my health had already taken a nosedive for about 12 months. Some things had happened at work that made me super unhappy, not only with the job I was in, but also with where my career was heading, with my career prospects. But I couldn't see how I could get out of my predicament, if you like, I felt really stuck and really lost. And like, if I don't want to do this with my career, then what else can I do? I mean, this is the path that I've signed up for now. This is where I'm heading. What else can I possibly do? So at the same time, I was seeing a boatload of consultants and specialists to figure out what was wrong with my health, which was just plain simple, getting near burnout. Now, fortunately, in the middle of 2013, one doctor, a neuroconsultant, was able to diagnose me with a very rare kind of migraine. And he said that that migraine was caused by stress. Now, for me, that was when everything fell into place because being in a job or a career that I couldn't care less about was stressful to me. I care about my career. I care about the work I do. And so feeling stuck, feeling disconnected to the work I was doing, feeling lost, all of that really got to me. And just to remind you, I had already quietly quit at the time. So I was disengaged from my work, I was showing up, but I was literally just there to not get fired, to be able to bring some money in and continue figuring out how I could get myself out of this hot mess. So back to this consultant who said to me, okay, Iris, you can get over this migraine, here are some meds but you need to be very, very careful when you take these meds because these are strong meds and I usually only prescribe them to people who have either bipolar disorder or a, a severe form of epilepsy. So he said, be careful when you take this, this strong stuff. Please only start with half a tablet and when you take it, be mindful of any rash that might develop anywhere in your body. So obviously I was like, rash, where? On my hands, on my stomach, where, where do I need to be mindful or be looking out for this rash? He said, you know what a rash is? 
If you see a rash, just stop taking it because this rash can be fatal. Now I start taking the pills and after a week, guess what? That rash showed up in my body. I wasn't quite sure if it was related to the pills because it had already been a week or 10 days. So I stopped taking the pills, rash disappeared, then started taking the pills again just to see if, it would help, if that rash would reappear. And guess what? The rash reappeared. So for me, that was a pivotal moment because I realized I'm in a job and a career that I do not care about, that I do not want to be in, that I don't see a future in, that's making me sick. And now I'm taking pills to get better again, but those pills could actually kill me. Not a great place to be in. So here's what I want to share. Or here's what I want you to know. If any of this maybe resonates with you, sometimes it's actually better to quit your job than to quietly quit your job. It was quiet quitting that pushed me over the edge. It was quiet quitting that drove me to my rock bottom. And that's a problem with quiet quitting. It has the potential to do, it, to do that. When you're already in a position where you're fed up with your job and then you disengage, you stop caring and you're like, I'll, I, you know, I'll get in in the morning, I'll do what I need to do, but then I'm out. It gets you to a place where life and your career just becomes bleak and you might start to resist work more and more and more and living with that constant friction with that constant resistance as well as with that lack of purpose lack of meaning that is not good for anyone's mental health or anyone's physical health so if you find yourself in that position then know that there are alternatives to quite quitting and sometimes yes quitting your job actually quitting your job is actually the better thing to do you can find a temporary job find a good enough job find a bridge job now i talk more about these kind of jobs in this video here so make sure you check that out ultimately your health is your most important asset without good health you are nowhere and no job or career is ever more important or should ever be more important than your health and yes, I understand that quitting your job is frightening. It's terrifying. I was terrified when I handed in my notice, but I literally felt I had no other option but to hand in my notice because continuing down the same path just wasn't an option for me. So there's one thing I want to say about quitting your job versus quiet quitting your job. When it comes to quitting your job, there's never a right moment to do that. So please don't wait for that one moment when you have all your ducks in a row, when everything is perfect, and then you're going, going to quit your job. Then you're going to make that leap. I leaped, probably looking back a little bit prematurely. I know plenty of others who leaped too late, who quit their job too late, and a lot of damage had been done on their, on their health, on their mental health, on their physical health. There never is a right time. So don't wait for that. And instead, follow your gut, follow your intuition, and just... Quit your job whenever you feel is right for you. Not when it's perfect for you, but when it's right for you. Despite what other people around you might say, or despite what other people around you might think, or despite whether or not they agree or not, you do you. Now, I hope this video has helped. Obviously, I'm not super a super fan of quiet quitting, um, but I hope this video has helped you to make up your own mind. Now... If you want a little bit more on quitting your job, especially if you don't have a backup plan, plan, then make sure you watch this video down here in which I explain when and why it's perfectly okay to quit your job without another one lined up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.